Hi and hello, welcome, my name is Cole McCormick, internet's biggest Godzilla nerd, and I ask you for your hot takes on the best and worst Godzilla suit designs, or just designs in general, for any monster in the Godzilla franchise, so let's get right into it. Evolved Godzilla is the worst Godzilla design, and uh, I have to disagree with this one for a variety of reasons. First and foremost, if we're talking just designs, there are worse Godzilla designs out there. Son of Godzilla comes to mind. That one looks absolutely awful. It looks terrible. Um, but even beyond that, what we'll go to like animation and whatnot. Um, Hanna-Barbera Godzilla, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, Godzilla 98, again, I've talked about that in detail in my retrospective on it, but interesting concept, interesting design, but it doesn't feel like Godzilla, and that's my biggest gripe with it. Personally, with Evolved Godzilla, I'm not really a fan. There are aspects of Evolved Godzilla that I do kind of like. I like that it's a throwback to Godzilla 2000, but at the same time, it's like I hate the, like, the spikes on the elbows, and I hate the Stegosaurus tail, and the fact that it looks like he's on Ozempic is just not really it for me. It doesn't look as intimidating. I don't get the vibe that this is an evolved Godzilla, and this is a more powerful Godzilla than, say, Burning Godzilla from 2019. So I agree that it's not a good design whatsoever, but I think there are worse designs for sure. Godzilla's 1998 design is good as a Godzilla design. Prove me wrong. Well, first and foremost, I think the biggest problem with Godzilla 1998 is the spines and the posture. I think if you were to fix those two, it would have been much better. People would have loved it when it first came out. So let me kind of explain a little bit. I think if you were to take those spines replace them with the maple leaf dorsal spines that we all know and love. And if you were to make the posture less, you know, like this and have it more upright, perfect. That would have been the preferred Godzilla design of that time. I think a lot of people would have loved it. And I honestly think that the film would have succeeded and we would have seen more of these, you know, American Godzilla movies. That is my hot take on it. I think that that is why the design fails entirely. It has nothing to do with the look of the face. It doesn't have anything to do with the fact that it doesn't actually breathe atomic breath. That is the issue. It's the posture and the spines. It's too dinosaur-like and it doesn't feel like Godzilla because of the fact that it's hunched over. It doesn't have that power. It doesn't have that grandeur that Godzilla usually carries with him. This one is from Allo Arts, and they say, Godzilla 2014 is the best MonsterVerse Goji design and should have kept it throughout. I actually kind of disagree. While I do love Godzilla 2014 design, I think it's awesome. My only gripe are the dorsal plates. I wish that they were the maple leaf ones, which King of the Monsters in 2019 did actually sort of fix. So for me, the 2019 Godzilla is my go-to Godzilla Monsterverse design. That is the peak Monsterverse look. 1955 suit is a great design. I agree 100%. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic design. It's slimmed down from the 54 version. It's everything it needed to be for that movie. And then some extremely underrated look. I wish that they would make more figures of it too, just because it is so cool looking. So I agree 100%. This is from D's Nuts 2007. And they say this isn't about a specific design per se, but I hate the way some Godzilla fans designate design names as Gary Goji instead of just saying 2014 or Godzilla 2014. It overcomplicates things and feels weeb-y, like non-Japanese speakers imitating the language with complete nonsense. I would have to agree, actually. I think that it very much overcomplicates things. Uh, for a lot of these, I actually had to like go and look up what they were talking about when they could have easily have just said Godzilla 2003. Godzilla 1967, you know, it's just, it, it overcomplicates it. And for people like me, it just, it feels annoying more than anything else. Fat Godzillas equal good Godzillas. I think for the most part, I would have to agree. Uh, the fatter Godzillas, like, um, you know, the early MonsterVerse one, but also like the Heisei Godzilla ones, they just look bigger and more intimidating, if that makes sense. The slimmer ones are okay, don't get me wrong, but for me, I do prefer it when they're bigger and bulkier, especially if the purpose of that monster or that design is to fight, then yes, 100%, I agree. Yet again, a fantastic take here. This person says, the Godzilla suit from 68 to 72 is the best Godzilla suit, and I 100% agree. I am a bit biased. My first ever Godzilla figure was Godzilla 1968, but regardless, yeah, it looks fantastic with what the films are trying to accomplish. And that's being a bit lighter, a bit goofier, but 
also still being a little bit intimidating. It kind of gives me like pit bull kind of vibes. I don't know why it just does. I think it just might be like the lips. There's just something about it. So yeah, I don't know. There's just something about it where it looks intimidating, but it's also kind of adorable at the same time, which works for what they're trying to do. Shin Godzilla is the scariest incarnation of Godzilla in the franchise. Yeah, 100%. A lot of that has to do, in my opinion, with the unpredictability of it. The fact that it's constantly evolving throughout the movie adds to it tenfold. If it was just the way that it was, let's say, like, I think that's form four. If it was just form four for the entire movie, then it would be extremely boring and it would just be kind of interesting to look at, but not as scary. So a lot of that does have to do with all the evolutions that it goes through. But even then, it does just look like a burn victim. It looks like it's just suffering. And the way that the tail looks is also so cool. I love how it just looks like a statue that has come to life, but not really, because it hardly moves, which works in its favor, I think. It kind of relates to suits, so I'll talk about it here. Uh, but they said the new Godzilla movies should be suitmation. It doesn't count as a Godzilla movie without the costume and miniature work. And I'm assuming they're talking just about the Japanese ones. So Godzilla minus one and Shin Godzilla. And part of me agrees, part of me disagrees. Uh, I've always been someone where with the filmmaking side of things, utilitarian is what matters most. Does it work with the story that they're trying to tell? For Shin Godzilla, I think it absolutely could have been a suit and it would have worked. With Minus One, I don't know if it would have worked as well if it was a suit. So kind of a disagree. It is a very good hot take. I'll give you that one. But yeah, I don't, I don't particularly agree. I do want them though to make more suitmation movies in the future though. That'd be really cool to see. Uh, but with Shin and Minus One, I disagree. Uh, with the Legendary Ones, there's no way they were ever going to make them suitmation. That just wasn't really in the cards. Uh, it's an American studio. They would have just done CG regardless. Heisai Godzilla Best Design. Um, not a hot take. Sorry, bud. But um, I do agree, though, that for me at least, Heisai Godzilla is the definitive Godzilla look. It's the definitive Godzilla suit. When I think of Godzilla, my mind just immediately goes to Heisai Godzilla. 100%. That is the Godzilla. I know for a lot of people, for younger people, they might think of the American one, but I have to disagree. For me, it's Heisai Godzilla. That is Godzilla to me. This person says, I much rather prefer the 89 to 91 suit over the 92 to 94 suit because it looks much less bug-eyed and it takes away from the former suit's edge. I have to say, I'm not too sure what you're talking about because to me, those suits all look very similar to me, like to the point where I couldn't really point out which suit is from which movie. Uh, I'm not saying that because it's like, oh, I'm a fake fan. I'm saying that because they just look really similar. If you were to just, you know, cut out an outline of just these monsters and you put them all right here, I would not be able to tell you which one is from which movie because they all look pretty much the same, if I'm being honest. So hard disagree. I think all of them are a fantastic suit design. It, it just, I don't know how someone could see that and say those are wildly different from one another. Godzilla hasn't been scary since 1954 and maybe Shin. Uh, they, they clarify later in the comments that they mean design-wise, and I have to disagree. Minus one is an absolutely terrifying design, but a lot of that has to do with the story and how they use the monster. For me, I think the scariest Godzilla design beyond Shin is 2001 from GMK. The eyes that are completely blinded with rage awesome love it i know i just ripped on godzilla 1998 but the fact that it's a little bit hunched over i dig that it makes it feel less like a man in a suit and it feels more like a living being i'm okay with a little bit of hunch just not you know full-on iguana i'm not cool with that but yeah no that gmk design is horrifying but again a lot of that has to do with how the filmmakers use it in the movie in that specific case they use it extremely well. There's those shots inside of buildings as it comes lumbering by and then destroys the building. And you see the tail come in and destroy the actual building. Perfect. Love it. So for me, design-wise, yeah, GMK is terrifying. But we do lose a lot of that scariness over time. There are scarier suits like Godzilla 55 from Raids Again. Um, but yeah, for the most part, he does kind of lose that scariness for a very long time, and then it picks back up in the 2000s. All right, that about wraps everything up. Really quick, though, I just want to say uh, with future hot take videos, there is something that I do want to kind of advise people on, and that is 
don't just say your opinion and that's it. If someone were to just say Godzilla vs. Biollante is a good movie, then I'm not going to respond to that because there isn't really much to go off of. What I want people to say is why they like a certain thing, why they feel a certain way. So state your opinion, give evidence, and do it that way. So instead what they should say is, Godzilla vs. Biollante is an underrated movie because X, Y, Z, and then sort of give your thoughts. That way, I know specifically what you're talking about and why you feel the way that you do. I had a lot of those for this current suit design video where a lot of people just said, this design is peak, this design is good, this one's underrated, this one sucks. And it's hard to sort of agree or disagree when I'm not too sure what you're specifically talking about. What aspects of the designs do you like or dislike? I'll make sure to clarify that in the next post. But regardless, I just want to say to those that did comment, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We've gotten so much support recently with all the new videos. And it just means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.